Guys, what's up? Mike Wienerbach here. Monday, happy pre-Christmas Monday. Today we're talking about muscles that don't develop or where you might have a plateau and what to do about them. So when you have a plateau in a muscle or you're stuck or you just can't grow, the issue is usually, as always, activation, okay? So let's say your chest is stuck. The main reason is probably you're doing this, okay? So let's fix it. If you don't have these handles, by the way, you're missing out. So you're driving your elbows together, okay? Not the hands, just the elbows. The elbows, the elbows, the elbows, and nothing but the elbows. So by now, you should have a good feeling on what the chest does, which is this. So that would be the starting point. A couple sets where you work on scapular retraction, bringing the hands together like here, okay? From there on, you can go into some dumbbell work where level two would be the squeeze press for activation. So now you're dropping the shoulders and you're squeezing them together as tight as you can. Squeeze the dumbbells, make sure you keep it not locking out. If you're locking out like so, it becomes triceps. So you wanna be back down here, squeeze, and squeeze. Then from there on, level three, actually first exercise would be the elevator press. So you're coming down, shoulder blades pinched, and you start here, quarter press, back down, half press, back down, up. Coming down, quarter, half, up. All this while maintaining constant tension. So that would be your third exercise. And then to finish up, I recommend the Chuck Norris push-ups where you're pushing away the earth. Just where you'd be going like this, warping the hands. So that's it for the chest. You have to really get this motion down, otherwise you can't grow it. Back. When training back, most people cannot do this. They cannot sit on their lats. If you can't flex your lats, they ain't gonna grow. So to start out with, I recommend flex deadlifts. We just come down and then you sit on the lats. Come down, sit. I don't mean sitting literally, okay? Everybody got that? Then level two, I recommend the Lukma no hands pull down, which way you, you'll be using the app for the hanging pig leg raises. And you're just focusing on your elbows. We let the hands loose, drive the elbows through, squeeze the lats as hard as you can. Then you go into the next exercise where you could be doing, if I ever can get this off, a proper pull down. First I go a little bit lighter, and, but I do it kneeling behind. So I have no means of cheating. It's going from here to here. Then, for my main work set, you could either be doing a mechanical drop where you go six reps, two for one, two arms pull down, one arm goes up, then six reps pulling it apart, and then six reps pulling straight down. Or you could also manage the sternum pull up where you'll be going as the name implies, <laughs> sternum to the bar. And now we take a commercial break to set up more equipment. Be right back. And we're back. Shoulders. So shoulders is really medium and rear delt. Most people are overdeveloped as is in the front. 
we won't be doing any of this. So medial, the issue is when people do a side raise, they do, they do really do a shrug. So the first thing that goes up is their shoulder and then they somehow yank it up. You must, under all circumstances, always, ever, pull from the elbow first. You also want to work the strength curve, so from here to here, and then finish up the top of the strength curve. So now you'll be looking at a proper side raise. Um, if you're in the market for more like an overall power, I recommend the scut press, where you'll be about here, and then drive the head forward, drive the head forward, or the irons press, where you come out. That would also work the immediate held along uh, with the front delt. I just realized the mic is going nice today. So now for the rear delt, we talked about that, that the good news is people start training it more. The bad news is they're doing it all wrong. So what you usually see is this. That's not how it works. Flex the tricep, plug it in, and move out from here to here. It's really like only like six to eight inches. You could be doing, to further fatigue, some sort of an elevated row. Just pull very high. But for the initial bird fly, you wanna start here. Sorry, start here, flex the tricep, and move out. Speaking of triceps, Remember the little mushroom grips? People like it. That's pointless. The tricep flexes here. So if your motion stops here, you're doing it wrong. So the first thing you gotta do is get the shoulder blades down and back. Then there could be a motion where you're driving from here to here and really squeeze all the way out without ever losing the shoulder blade. So you got to consider this. There's an insertion, there's an origin. Sorry, an insertion and origin. They have to come together, but only one can move. So if they're both moving like so, you can't create tension. So you're holding it here then drive through like that. Now, as you can see, only one attachment moves. And then, of course, you could work in the three steps and all that sort of thing. Uh, with the biceps, the problem is that most people, the first thing they do is this, right? But now it's a front raise. So, in order to train your biceps, the first thing has to move is your forearm. So again, you can never lose the lat. So if you can see it here, connect to the lat, uh, thumb under, and now as I go up, I rotate outward. Because my biceps, they can't flex like this. They can only flex like that. So I have my origin, my insertion, and I drive them together. Okay? So that should set you guys on the path. We're doing legs later on this week. Have a great Monday. Mike out.